Hey guys, welcome to another live coding session with Pentacode, also known as one take tutorial. So this is something I've been doing recently and I hope you guys find it useful. Today we're going to add React Router into the Create React app. This is a very popular demand. Uh, many people who wants to know about how they can add a router into their Create React app projects. Uh, because for anything trivial, you are going to need some sort of router for your app. So for those of you who are not familiar with how Create React app works, I will put a link to the video that I did on how you can get started on that. And for those of you who are familiar with it, um, let's follow along and get started. So let's create a React, Create React app. And then we're going to call this Create React app with router. So this will install the dependencies for the projects. And it takes a few minutes, I mean, a few seconds. And by the way, I got a new microphone. So a lot of people had told me the, mic the voice quality was not that good. So I got a better Yeti microphone. So let me know if you guys find this better than before. We're just gonna give it a few seconds. Now, this is something uh, a lot of people had trouble with um, because they're not familiar with how, with how React Router works. So I'm going to, I hopefully this tutorial will tell you, will show you how easy it is you can set it up and then uh, you can create different routes for your app. It'll basically turn your app into a single page app with, um, you know, with very little coding involved. So I'm going to probably Okay, it looks like it's done. Uh, let's go into the folder. And then we'll, uh, I'm sorry, before we do that, let's open it up in our editor. So once the project is open, let's go into the, the, the uh, directory and then npm start the project. All right, looks like the server is up at port 3000. And as you can see, the project has started. So we will going, we are going to uh, modify our project folder a little bit and we'll move, we'll move this in the background and I'll make this screen size a bit bigger. So the basic boilerplate for this project is very simple in this format, but uh, in order for us to make it work with uh, React Router, we will make a couple of changes to our application. Now, the first thing we need to do while we change the directory structure, we need to install the React Router NPM library. So we're just going to open a new tab and then we can do npm install react router that's that save. We'll save it to our package JSON. So while it's installing, we need to make sure that we are we have the correct project structure set up so the first thing i would like to do is to create a folder i want to call this pages this is going to be the different pages for our app uh, for example for a single page app you might have home about contact or like things like that so you want to for each route i'm going to create a folder for it so I'm going to create two routes, one for contacts page and then the other for 404 page. So let's create a folder called contact. I always like to make it capitalized for all the pages. And then we'll, we'll sorry, not folder. We'll create a file called contact.js. And then we're going to create a new file called contact.css. Same thing, we're going to make another folder. This time we'll call it not found. 
Now this is the 404 page, meaning if any route that we cannot match from our router, it will automatically go to this component. So essentially these are all React components and the CSS file along with it. So now we have two, uh, two folders and two routes set up. For our root route, we will just use the app.js and app.css. So there's nothing we need to change there. Uh, although ideally, if you want, you can move the app.js and app.css into a folder here too. But for this simplicity, I'm going to just leave it the way it is. And now we need to put some content inside of these routes. So they need to be uh, very simple. So I'm going to basically copy what we have in app.js and then paste it here and then change all the occurrences of the word app into contact. Since we don't have logo that's SVG, we're just going to take it out. And then in the content area of this page, we're just going to have a H1 that tells us what page we're on. It's a very simple page. And then we'll just copy this thing and then paste it into the 404 not found page. Change the name into not found. And there you have it. So we have the components for these pages set up. And then the next step we need to do is we need to create a file called routes.js in the source root directory. Now this is the magic uh, file that will make everything work and stay together.